all right, let's be real. A lot of people talk about AI and automation, but very few actually know how to monetize it properly. Six months ago, I made a decision that completely changed my life. Instead of just building automations and hoping someone would buy them, I focused on solving real business problems with AI and automation. That one shift allowed me to make more money than most people will in their lifetime while helping businesses scale faster than ever before. And I didn't do this by automating random tasks like posting on social media. I did it by building sales systems that bring in leads, acquire clients and generate revenue on autopilot. Because here is the truth. Every business on the planet depends on customers. Without customers, they don't exist. And because of that, they're already spending thousands, if not millions of dollars to acquire new customers. Our job is to help them do it better, faster, and more efficiently. But that is also where most people go wrong. They build automations first and then try to find a buyer. The right way is identifying a high value business problem and then solve it using AI and automation. That's what separates people making a few hundred bucks a month from those building six and seven figure businesses. The real gold mine isn't small automations that save a few minutes here and there. It is fully automated client acquisition systems, the kind of systems businesses are already paying a premium for. If you can help a company acquire customers more efficiently, they won't just pay you once, they'll keep paying you every single month. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how to use AI and automation to directly impact sales. You won't just be automating random tasks. You'll be creating systems that actually help businesses make more money. You'll learn how to structure your setup for long-term success. This means setting up your business in a way that allows you to scale, work with more clients and create a reliable income stream. I'll also show you how to price your services the right way. A lot of people undervalue their work and end up charging way too little. You'll learn how to position your services so businesses see the value and are willing to pay premium prices. Next, I'll walk you through the exact step-by-step -step process for onboarding clients. This ensures that they see results quickly, trust you from day one, and feel confident that they've made the right investment. Finally, we'll cover how to lock in high-paying retainers for consistent cash flow. So instead of constantly chasing new clients every month, you'll have a system in place that keeps money coming in predictably. Before you start building a sales automation system, you need to make one crucial decision. Who owns the system, you or your client? This choice will completely change how you operate, how you retain clients and how much leverage you have in your business. There are essentially two models you can follow. The first is where you handle everything you set up manage and control the systems entirely on your end. The second is where the client owns everything and you simply build and set it up for them. Both have advantages, but they also come with trade-offs. Now, whether you choose to fully manage the system or let the client own it, the key to making this work is setting everything up correctly and positioning yourself for long-term success. If you want to skip the guesswork, I've put together a private school community where you can access all my workflows, business SOPs, email templates, and client acquisition strategies. So instead of figuring everything out from scratch, you can download and implement the exact systems I use in my own business. More on that later, but for now, let's break down the first model, handling everything on your end. This is what I like to call the done for you approach. You're not just delivering a one-time setup. You are managing the system long-term, making sure it runs smoothly and consistently delivers results. Most business owners prefer this because they don't want to deal with the technical side of automation. They just want a system that works. One of the biggest advantages of this model is control and retention. When you manage everything, clients become dependent on your service. They rely on you to keep things running, which makes it easier to keep them on long-term contracts. Instead of setting something up and walking away, you position yourself as an ongoing partner, which means predictable income and longer client relationship. Another benefit is speed. One of the biggest bottlenecks in automation projects is waiting for clients to create accounts, provide logins or complete onboarding steps. With this done for you model, you don't have to deal with any of that. You set up everything yourself, which means you can start immediately and show results much faster. Faster results mean happier clients and happier clients lead to more referrals and more revenue. 
this model is also cost effective for you because instead of asking the client to pay for multiple software subscriptions like N8N, Apollo, or Instantly, you can bundle these costs into your service fee. If you already have a paid account with these tools, you can use your own subscriptions to manage multiple clients, saving them from extra expenses. And from a business perspective, it allows you to factor these costs into your pricing, making your service feel like an all-in-one solution rather than just another expense. The biggest reason clients love this model is that it's completely hassle-free for them. Most business owners don't care about the tools you use. They don't want to create accounts, learn new software, or deal with technical setup. They hired you because they want results, not headaches. With this model, you eliminate all the friction for them. So instead of making them set up and manage the system, all they have to do is show up to the sales call with the leads you generate. And that is why this approach is so effective. It removes every possible roadblock between your service and the outcome they want. This model is ideal for high ticket clients who value convenience and want a completely done for you solution. These clients are serious about growth and would rather pay for someone to handle everything than spend time figuring it out themselves. If you want to maximize client retention and recurring revenue, handling everything on your end is one of the best ways to do it. Now that we have covered the first model, let's move on to the second approach, giving the client full ownership of the system. In some cases, this might be a better fit and I'll explain exactly when and why in the next section. Now let's talk about the second model, giving the client full ownership of the system. Instead of running everything on your accounts, you set up the system using their software, their logins, and their infrastructure. Once the system is built, they fully own and manage it themselves. The biggest advantage of this model is ownership and transparency. Since everything is set up under the client's accounts, they don't feel like they're locked into working with you. If they ever decide to part ways, there's no concern about losing access or having to rebuild everything from scratch. This can actually make it easier to close deals because some business owners prefer knowing they have full control over their own systems. Another major benefit is that offboarding becomes effortless. If a client decides to stop working with you, you don't have to spend time transferring automations from your accounts to theirs. The system is already in place on their end meaning you can simply finish the project and walk away. This makes it ideal if you prefer one-time setups rather than long-term management. This approach also helps you avoid difficult clients. Some clients are disorganized, slow to respond, or difficult to deal with when it comes to payments. By, ba by making them responsible for setting up their own accounts, you put more of the responsibility on them. If a client refuses to take the process seriously or doesn't want to invest in the right tools, that's a red flag. That is a red flag that they might not be the best fit for your service anyways. This model helps you filter out these types of clients before you waste any time on them. But there are some trade-offs. One of the biggest challenges with this approach is that setup can take way longer. If the client isn't tech savvy, you might spend a lot of time walking them through the process of creating accounts, connecting tools, and troubleshooting. Unlike the first model where you can get started immediately, you often have to wait for them to complete certain steps before you can even begin working on their system. This can slow down the entire project and cause unnecessary delays. Another downside is that client retention can be a lot more difficult. When a client owns their system and understands how it works, they might feel less reliant on you. Unlike the first model where you manage everything and keep the system running, this model puts the control in their hands. Some clients will take what you've built, run with it, and never need you again. That is why this approach works best for specific types of clients. If someone values full control over their systems and doesn't want to be dependent on an external provider, this is the best fit for them. It is also a great option if you don't want to be involved in long-term management. If you prefer setting up systems, getting paid for the build and moving on to the next client, then this model might be a better choice. Both models have their place and the best approach depends on the type of clients you want to work with and the kind of business you are building. If you're looking for long-term contracts, predictable income and strong client retention, the first model where you manage everything will usually be the best choice. But if you want quick turnaround projects and full hands-off, then setting up systems under the client's ownership might be a better fit for you.
understanding these differences will help you position your service in a way that attracts the right kind of clients and ensures long-term success. Now that we have covered the two models, let's go through the step-by-step -step process of setting up your client's sales automation system the right way and how to price it for long-term success. For most beginners, I recommend handling everything on your end. Clients don't want to deal with tech setup, they just want results. If you start by asking them to sign up for Apollo instantly or N8N, it feels like extra work for them. But if you rather say, I provide everything as part of my service, it suddenly becomes a done for you solution and that's easier to sell. When it comes to onboarding, focus on results, not tools. Clients don't care about the software. You need to frame everything around outcomes. How many high quality leads are they going to get? How much time will they save? How much money will they make? When you shift their attention to these factors, they immediately see the real value in what you can offer. Once the system is running, some clients might insist on full ownership. If that happens, don't fight it. Just make it part of your process. Let them know upfront. If you ever want to take control, I'll transfer everything over to you. No problem. This removes concerns about being locked in and makes them more comfortable signing on. Most clients won't actually take you up on this, but just knowing they have the option makes the decision much, much easier. The most important step is ensuring you keep clients long-term. Setting up these systems is just the first part. If you want to build a sustainable business, you need clients to stay with you. That's why I highly recommend monthly retainer over one-time fees. A one-time setup fee might seem like a quick win, but it has a big downside. You get paid once and have to start from scratch looking for your next client. Instead, by offering ongoing optimization and support, you create a stable recurring income stream. The monthly retainer model works like this. You charge a lower upfront fee plus a monthly management fee. This means you keep working with the client, optimizing their system, improving results, and ensuring they keep getting high quality leads. The longer they use your system, the more valuable you become, making it much easier to retain them long-term. One of the simplest ways to make this model even more attractive is to bundle software costs into your service fee. If you tell a client you need to sign up for instantly Apollo and N8N, it feels like a hassle. But if you say, I provide a fully managed system that includes everything, so you don't have to worry about software subscriptions, it becomes a one-stop solution. This small shift makes your service more valuable and helps you close deals a lot faster. By structuring your pricing the right way, you position yourself as an essential partner in the client's success, rather than just another freelancer doing a one-time job. This is how you build a profitable, scalable business instead of constantly chasing new clients to stay afloat. Now let's go over some of the most common objections you'll hear from potential clients and exactly how to handle them. The first question you'll get is, can I do this myself? Well, technically, yes. They could sign up for the tools, try to piece things together and figure it out on their own. But the real question is, do they have the time to optimize it, fix issues, and make sure it's generating consistent results? Most business owners don't, and that's why they hire you. Your service ensures that everything runs perfectly, so they don't have to waste time troubleshooting, tweaking, or constantly adjusting their system. Instead, they can focus on closing deals while you handle the automation in the background. Another common concern is, I want full ownership. Some clients worry about being locked into a system they don't control. That's why you should always make it clear that ownership is never an issue. If they ever want to take control, you will transfer everything to their name so they can manage it themselves. By doing so, you remove any hesitation and make them feel more comfortable committing to your service. In reality, most clients won't actually take you up on this because they'd rather have someone else manage the system for them. But just knowing they have the option builds a lot of trust. And finally, one of the biggest objections you'll hear is why should I pay a monthly fee? The answer is quite simple because their competitors are constantly optimizing their sales system. If they don't, they will fall behind. A system that works today might not work as well in six months if it's not maintained, adjusted, and improved. Your service ensures that their systems stay updated and their campaigns continue performing and they keep getting high quality leads. It's not just about setting up automation, it's about making sure it keeps delivering results over time. 
Handling these objections correctly is what separates amateurs from professionals. If you can confidently address these concerns, clients will see the value in what you offer and be much more likely to sign a long-term contract. Now that you understand how to build and monetize AI-powered sales systems, here's how you can take action and start implementing this yourself. The first step is to pick your model. Decide whether you want to fully manage the systems on your end or set them up under the client's ownership. If you want more client retention and longer term contracts, handling everything yourself is the best approach. But if you prefer quick turnaround projects, then setting it up under their accounts might be the better fit for you. Once you've decided on your model, the next step is to start with a done for you setup. Clients don't want to deal with complex software. By setting everything up for them, you remove any friction, making onboarding seamless and results much faster. This also helps you close deals because clients love an all-in-one solution where they don't have to lift a finger themselves. After the system is up and running, position yourself for monthly retainers. Instead of just delivering a one-time setup, offer ongoing optimization and support. This ensures your clients get better results over time and allows you to build a stable recurring income stream. The more you refine your system, the more valuable your services become, making it easy for them to keep paying you month after month. And finally, communicate your value clearly. Clients need to understand why your service is essential. Focus on the outcomes, not on the tools. Businesses don't care about the software you use. They care about getting more leads, closing more deals, and essentially growing their revenue. Make it as easy as possible for them to say yes. Just as a quick reminder, if you want to skip the trial and error and fast track your success, I've built a private school community where I break everything down step by step. Inside, you'll get full access to all my end to end workflows. So instead of spending months figuring things out, you can download and implement the exact systems I use in my business. On top of that, you'll also get my business SOPs, email templates, and sales scripts, the same assets I rely on to run my agency successfully. So whether you're just starting or looking to scale, having these proven resources will save you time, eliminate guesswork, and help you land high value clients a lot faster. The best part is you'll be part of a network of action takers who are lending high value client retainers and booking meetings every single week. If you're serious about mastering AI powered sales automations and building a real profitable business, this is where you need to be. If you found this video valuable, Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss what's coming next. Drop a comment if you have any questions or want me to cover something specific in a future video. I want to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.